Hi guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome to today's video. I am going to be talking about the worst mascaras that I have tried from drugstore. It might sound overrated when I say worse, but actually they are not just working good on me. I mean the criteria that they have doesn't meet my expectation. Also, there are some of the products are over clean. Just to make myself clear that these are not my favorite, maybe these are some of your favorites. So do you want to know what are they? Just stay tuned, watch this video until the end of it and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos I am not fully healthy right now but for you guys, I still want to do it I'm gonna be telling you guys the mascaras that I have tried recently and there are some of newly launched and not so new okay, let's not waste more time, let's get dive into the products okay, this is it, this is Warda Eye Expert Aqua Lash Mascara the applicator is good. It's fine. I have no problem with that. If you haven't tried it, this is how it looks like. So it's not like really really curved. They macam bend sikit je. So yeah, that's how it looks like from the inside. Here at the back side of this packaging, it mentioned that lengthening, volumizing with fiber and vitamin E create natural look and clump free lashes when it says volumizing i am expecting that it will give huge effect on the eyes but it does not really give an adequate volumizing effect that i want so i think this is just kind of like very natural look on the eyes it is clump free yes i agree with that it takes about one or two minutes to dry and set on the eyelashes but I can still feel that tacky texture on the eyes even though it is dry I have tried it but when I keep touching it it still feels tacky but actually the formula has dry so I don't like that kind of feeling it's just make my eyes feel sticky irritated and not comfortable it's drying but not totally drying you know what I mean okay so that's the first one the other product is from Rimmel brand it is scandalized volume on demand and it says here waterproof the applicator is okay but it's just a little bit big but I think I don't have any problem to apply it on my eyelashes and it really separates my lashes evenly it is waterproof yes it claims to be waterproof and it is waterproof the thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't really gives me curling effect that I want even though I have curled out with my curler of course I curl it with my curler first but it still doesn't give me that volumizing and curling effect so from the website it says waterproof clump free flick free smudge free 24 hour wear customizable volume I don't feel that it is volumizing or curling no it takes about one or two minutes to dry and it doesn't feel tacky on the eyes so that's good but still i don't prefer this because i am expecting it to be like really really volumized really curling you know mascara meant to be curling up lashes right the other one is essence this is get big lashes volume boost and it also claim here to be clump free there's a description for this product it says for maximum volume and extremely thick lashes without clumping this is how the applicator looks like it's quite big when i try to use this i don't have any problem with that but it's like doesn't do anything it's like not curling up not volumizing my lashes i feel a bit sad about this because i was influenced by one of the youtubers beauty youtubers saying that this is good but then i tried to use it for my eyes i tried to curl and curl and curl up i tried to reapply this again and again but it doesn't give me that volumizing thing you know i have to say this it is overclaim okay so i am not happy with this at all and it takes time to dry like i don't know two or three minutes i don't like that and it does feel a little bit tacky on the eyes as well a big no-no for me for this mascara next we have maybelline lash sensational sky high this one doesn't work on me forgive me this one doesn't work on me this is a washable type yes it is washable but i don't like the formula of this the applicator is just nice it has a straight wand and it is flexible like you can bend it okay so yeah that's the thing about this one it's different than the others but i don't prefer this formula 
I don't know, there's something about the formula that I don't like. It doesn't really curl up my lashes. Like, I'm expecting it to be really, really curl because I saw so many reviews on this and they say it's very good, like super, super good, but I don't feel that. Maybe for waterproof one, it will work on me, but for washable type, it just doesn't work. So I'm expecting it to be like really go up, like really, really curling up my lashes, but it's just doesn't give me that volumizing i can say that it has an acceptable volumization that i want but in the sense of curling up lashes i don't feel that it gives me great or adequate finish you know and one more thing about this is that it takes time to dry like really really takes time to set on the eyelashes maybe about two or three minutes i can still feel the tackiness and when i wait for a few minutes it still has that i'm not trying to hate this it just doesn't meet my preferences doesn't meet my expectations so i'm quite sad about them last but not least it is silky girl lash prism waterproof mascara lengthens and volumizes i can say that it is natural the applicator is fine it comes in a straight types of one but it's not flexible it's so easy to apply okay it's so easy to apply it claims to be waterproof and smudge proof and from the website it says here it designed to add volume lengthen and add curl to lashes in terms of curl i really have hard time with that issue if you have followed me two years ago now you'll know that i have super straight lashes it's like really really downward not curl at all so i have hard time to curl it up again and again i have to come one two three four five six until ten until i get that really really curl lashes that's what i do every time when i want to apply mascara but still it doesn't give me curling effect that i want it's like it's not enough for me it's not enough and i was influenced by other youtubers as well to buy this because she said that this is good I don't want to mention who. Maybe it just doesn't work on me. I don't know about you guys. Have you guys experienced uh, mascaras that you are not really liked about? By the way, I'm still using them. But still, I need to put on my fake eyelashes. I'm not trying to hit them so much. So please, don't misunderstand. Okay, so I guess that's all my sharing for this video. I really have fun. I am really having a great time talking to you guys. So I hope you guys inspired with this video somehow and let me know what are the mascaras that just doesn't work on you. Tell me about it and maybe have suggestions on what kind of mascaras that really really good the ones that you guys are really really satisfied with i guess i'll see you guys again in another video thank you so much for watching this until the end of it have a great day have a good time i hope we'll see you again in another video bye